Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be a thriller and mystery movie from 2021 called The Alternate. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. The movie starts with an interview being recorded for a film managed by a struggling filmmaker named Jake. His partner, Peter, interrupts the session by pointing out a camera issue, annoying another businessman, Alex. Jake fixes the problem and they resume recording. Later, the three friends are at a bar where Jake expresses his frustration about his career post-film school, whereas Peter is content with his job. Jake leaves early to work on his movie, Space Drive, which Peter teases him about for not finishing. At home, Jake's wife, Chris, is reading and too tired to deal with Jake's stress. Unable to sleep, Jake goes downstairs to work. He checks his movie's Facebook page, which has only 17 followers, and edits the interview footage, discovering and enhancing a glitch in the video. He's mesmerized by the image he creates and uses it as a screensaver. The next morning, Jake makes breakfast for Chris, who's about to leave for her job at an eyeglass shop. They argue, and Chris urges him to take more responsibility since she's working a demanding job to support his filmmaking dreams. After she leaves, Peter visits and is disappointed to find Jake hasn't finished the video. Jake shows Peter the intriguing image he worked on, but Peter dismisses it, urging Jake to focus on completing Space Drive. Later, while Jake is playing football, he accidentally discovers the ball can go through the screen he projected the image on. Surprised, he realizes his hand can pass through too. Just then, Chris returns home, and despite their earlier argument, Jake is eager to show her his incredible discovery. She tells him that she wants to take more time off from work to focus on designing eyeglasses, which means Jake needs to find a job. Jake is upset with Chrissy because she had previously given him a year to accomplish his goals. After calming down, Jake goes to his office, ties an extension cord around himself, and nervously pushes his head through the screen, discovering a room on the other side. He saves the screensaver to his flash drive and steps through, but the cord snaps. Jake finds himself in a similar but nicer office, spotting a photo of himself and Alex, a drawing labeled, Two Dad from a Child, and a photo with him, Chris, and her daughter. He also notices a poster of Space Drive, completed and released. He transfers the video to the computer in this new office and checks his old office from the other side. His alternate self is a successful filmmaker with worldwide bookings. Jake tidies the office to match what he saw and jumps back to his world. The next morning, as Chrissy leaves, she apologizes and expresses interest in seeing what he has to show her after work. Jake attempts to tell Peter about his experience, but Peter hangs up, confused. Jake even thinks about calling his mom before deciding to go back to the alternate world. Upstairs, alternate Chris is designing frames when she hears a crash downstairs. Thinking her husband is away, she investigates, finding Jake pretending to play a game, his back to her due to his lack of a beard. She returns upstairs, hears a car, and assuming it's her husband, grabs a bat. She swings at the newcomer only to find it's Jake, leaving her perplexed. Later, Jake tries to call Chris at work to explain what he saw, but she hangs up. When Chris returns home, Jake manages to bring her downstairs, shows her his ability to push his hand through the screen, and leads her through. She sees the photos of their family and is stunned, but they are interrupted by a noise upstairs. Chris sees an alternate version of herself, Jake, and her daughter outside and is so overwhelmed that she throws up. Jake cleans up the mess and they return through the portal. Later, they eat pizza. Jake is excited about his discovery, but Chris tells him he isn't a scientist and doesn't understand what he's dealing with. Jake wants to explore more, but Chris just wants him to take a bath and forget everything. Ignoring her, Jake goes back through the portal and sees the alternate versions of himself and Chris arguing by the pool. Chris suspects the other Jake of cheating, but he insists he's just busy with work. Jake tries to report his discovery to an organization, but the woman on the phone dismisses him as just another prank caller. After seeing how successful his alternate life is, Jake shaves his beard and returns, but has to run away as his alternate self arrives. The next morning, Chris is surprised by Jake's shaved face. He claims he shaved because his beard was too sweaty. The following day, Jake enjoys the pool but scrambles to leave when he hears someone coming. He's caught by Chris and they end up having a romantic evening. That night, Jake is startled awake by his alternate self returning home and manages to hide. When Jake returns to his own world, Chris confronts him, sensing her own scent on him. Heartbroken, she removes her wedding ring and leaves. Meanwhile, the alternate Jake and Chris start the day grateful for their night together, but he's puzzled when he thinks he sees someone outside. Later, he leaves for a business trip, and Chris returns home to spend time with her daughter. Chris comes home the next afternoon and is surprised to find Jake in bed, not realizing that the real Jake had no idea the alternate Jake was out of town. Jake quickly makes up an excuse, which Chris believes, seeing it as a chance to spend more time together. 
Taking advantage of the situation, Jake starts living the life of his alternate self while he is away, seizing every chance to be intimate with Chris. Three weeks later, Jake is still in the alternate world when a call comes in on Chris's phone. It's from alternate Jake saying he'll be back in two days. Jake blocks the number and starts panicking, contemplating extreme measures to remove his alternate self permanently. That night, Jake devises a plan. He tells Chris that he has a surprise for her and their daughter and asks for the house to himself to prepare. The next night, Jake waits in the house with the ski mask on as his alternate self arrives. When alternate Chris comes home, he flips a light switch, but Jake has rewired it to activate the portal. He tries to push his alternate self through the portal, but the plan fails and they end up fighting. Alternate Jake pulls off the ski mask, shocked to see his own face. They fight again, and just as alternate Jake is about to call the police, he gets knocked out. Jake drags his alternate self to the basement and throws him through the portal, trapping him in his own world. When alternate Jake wakes up, he calls for Chris but finds a note she left for the original Jake, saying she has left him and not to look for her. He stumbles upstairs to find the house empty and run down, as Chris had taken all her belongings three weeks earlier. Alternate Jake takes a shower, finds some clothes, and calls Peter over, but Peter is baffled. Alternate Jake tries to explain that he isn't from this world, but Peter thinks he's lost his mind. He mentions the screensaver, and Peter recalls seeing it before. Peter then takes alternate Jake to where Chris is living. Initially, she refuses to talk until she realizes this isn't her Jake. Chris explains that her Jake found the portal, cheated on her with her own alternate version, and that she sold all of Jake's belongings. She then drives him to a store where he talks to the owner about the equipment. The owner shows him the computer and he tests the portal by pushing his hand and then his head through, ending up in a kitchen and startling the chefs. Alternate Jake buys the equipment and takes it home. He checks the portal and sees the imposter Jake working on his computer. That night, he finds the imposter in bed with his wife and devises a plan. He erases real Jake's computer, saves the screensaver on a flash drive, and attaches it to a cord. He returns to his world and pulls out the flash drive, leaving the imposter with no way to return. The next morning, as imposter Jake is having breakfast with his family, alternate Jake waits and confronts him. The two struggle, and Chris is shocked to see two versions of her husband. They fight with bats until alternate Jake manages to throw real Jake back through the portal. As real Jake reaches back through, the portal suddenly closes, cutting him in half. The couple sits in silence afterward, with a garbage bag leaking blood nearby. In the final scene, Peter is editing the video interview from the beginning of the film. He enlarges the same glitch Jake did, and a portal appears in front of him. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care, and see you next time.